Welcome back, everyone. Nowadays, we've got thousands of movies available to us via whatever your frame, uh, favorite streaming services may be. And, of course, you can always go to the movie theater. So why attend a film festival? Well, because of opportunities like the ones to meet people behind the cameras working on the films. With us this morning, we've got Taylor Montalto, who is the Charlotte Film Festival director, and a local filmmaker, Chelsea Engel, who's producer of one of the local documentaries that's actually going to be at this week's festival. Uh, and so, Chelsea, thank you, and, and Taylor, both of you guys, for being here. Yeah. This is exciting. Yes. 15th year. 15th. This has been going on. Not 15th annual, but 15th right, but year. 15th. Uh, yes. Listen, everything fell apart during the <laughs> pandemic. We know exactly how that happened. Yeah. So 15 years, though, how have you seen, uh, because you've been director now, what, this fourth? My fourth, fourth festival, year to be? yes. Yeah. Uh, how have you seen this grow 15 years now? Well, it's just really exciting. This is our second year um, in our own dedicated space. Um, and this is our second most amount of submissions we've ever received. Um, so it just keeps getting better as more people are know that we exist. Um, and we've always had a need to support our alumni filmmakers. So the word gets out when they talk to their friends and everything like that. So it's really exciting. Well, we're going to talk about that location that you mentioned here in just a minute, the Independent Picture House, which is where this is going to be kicking off here the next couple of days through the rest of the week. And Chelsea is a producer of one of the documentaries that's going to be competing. And, and that's a part of this film festival, one of the shorts there. Uh, and this is The Making of the Big Picture. Uh, tell me a little bit about this film. Absolutely. So, The Making of the Big Picture, it's a short form documentary. Our company, Kim Bright Media, produced alongside Teen Health Connection in Charlotte. They are a local doctor's office that supports teenagers. And mm. we follow along a group of teenagers as they talk about heavy teen issues. They write and produce a play, and we got to follow along the entire journey of that production. Oh, wow. Yes. What were some of the, uh, maybe some of the, were there some aha moments that even through the yeah. camera lens where you guys were like, wow, that you just know, happened and we, we, that was cool that we documented it. It's so exciting to watch people as they walk through a creative process and get to see that behind the scenes mm -hmm. and watch them make decisions in real time and get to watch them get excited about getting something right and then the ending. I won't spoil the ending. Okay. It's so exciting to see the excitement and the hope. Um, at yeah. the end of the at the end of the play, I love it. And of course, these are amateur actors, teenagers here in the Charlotte area. It's not like you hired professionals to to put together a show. So you're watching this, you know, amateur group put together a creative process. Speaking of that creative process, Taylor, yes. I, I think something that, that that's cool about attending a film festival, if you've never been to it. I think people just think it's sitting in a theater, watching a film with a drink and popcorn, you go home. Mm -hmm. it, it's more than that. Like you Absolutely really get to pick that. the brains of the filmmaking process. Yes. And what made you shoot that? What was the, what, how did you, how do you figure out what to edit, what to mm -hmm. leave in a film? All those moments you get through a film festival. Yes. Yeah. And every time we have a filmmaker present, we have a dedicated Q and A session after the film screening or film block screening. Um, so it gives the audience a chance to, you know, talk with the filmmaker and understand their creative process. Um, and we also have um, some hangouts and parties this year uh, in other nearby know all locations for our filmmakers to get to know one another. And it's very exciting. Well, what are some of the other special presentations that people should be looking at for the next four or five days? I noticed uh, William Shatner's name. Came yes, up a couple of times. Twice. He, yeah, yeah. Yes. What's going on with that this year? So we have, uh, it is a, a restoration, I'm probably getting it wrong, but of uh, Impulse. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of a horror film. Um, I believe it's from the 70s. Our festival director, he plans all the special presentations. Yeah. Um, so Impulse will be playing, uh, and we also have You Can Call Me Bill, uh, which is a documentary feature about his life. Yeah. Um, so it's really exciting. You know, it's interesting, uh, Chelsea is producer of, of a short documentary. It's amazing, whatever whatever uh, streaming service you use to watch documentaries or if you go to a theater, documentaries have become so popular in the last five or 10 years. Why do you think that is? It, it, it sort of gives, in my opinion, a chance to, to look into the real world of what's going on in whatever the situation may be. I think exactly that. I think that uh, humans connect with humans and mm -hmm. to see people in more of a real fashion, I think is really catching on. I think in the world of social media, it's more common to see things that are real, and I think documentaries yeah. really, really dive into kind that as well. Kind of unscripted, yeah. Exactly. You get to see yes. the rawness. What's yes. it? What was the biggest challenge for you guys with this film? Oh, we followed them along for months, and then you get to the editing process, and our director and editor, Ben, um, 
really had a tough time picking out the best moments after months of following yeah. these teams. Because you got to keep it short. I yes, mean, that's part, exactly. of, part of the, the yes. category is keeping it to a certain Shorter length. Shorter is better when programming, for sure. Oh, <laughs> okay. A little key there. If, if someone, because North Carolina and, and Charlotte itself has really become uh, a great place to make and create and learn yes. more about films. If someone out is out there going, you know, I, I don't want to be an actor, but I want to be a part of the filmmaking process. Yes. How, do you, how does someone get started? Well, I mean, I, I'm a graduate UNC Wilmington. I went all through North Carolina schools, born and raised. And uh, when I graduated, I was like, what is there to do film in Charlotte? And I got involved with the Charlotte Film Festival in a mm -hmm. volunteer capacity, worked my way up to programming director. And uh, I also got involved with the Carolina Film Community, so some other local nonprofits. Um, so it really allowed me to, you know, work with and, and communicate and network with other uh, film professionals. We're actually screening 27 uh, regional films this year, 11 of which are produced here right in Charlotte, including making the big yeah. picture. So Wow, this is huge. This is exciting. It kicks off tomorrow, uh, and it runs through the rest of the weekend. There are tickets available. Uh, it opens again tomorrow night. Independent Picture House, what a great uh, nonprofit place to be able to watch uh, all these films, whether it's long form or short form documentaries. Uh, some incredible work that a lot of folks internationally, all around the world, are bringing right here to Charlotte. So thank you, uh, both Taylor and Chelsea, for your creativity, yes. uh, focusing on the arts and filmmaking in this area. We wish you a very successful next couple of days for the Charlotte Film Fest. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we've got it. all that information attached to our website at qcnews.com.